Hey guys, so I have all my tips written down for preventing injuries. Um, I had a specific question about preventing injuries when doing things that involve plyometrics and high intensity exercise, kind of like my guide does. So it'll be kind of geared towards that, but these apply to like exercising in general, just keeping yourself healthy and feeling good and performing at peak performance. <laughs> okay, so. Um, the first thing that is very, very, very important is to be sure you warm up before you work out. So you don't want to uh, get out of bed, do nothing, and just go straight into your workout. That is very dangerous. You have a good chance of pulling something and you don't want that because then you're out and you can't do anything for a while, uh, depending how bad it is. So always warm up. Make sure you do just a quick warm up if you don't have a ton of time, you're just squeezing your workout in. Just at least three to five minutes of some uh, body weight exercises, even some high knees, some jumping jacks, uh, things like that. Just a dynamic warm up. You can just, if you have more time, you can go on a jog, a walk, whatever you want to do, some jump rope. Just make sure that you warm your body up, get your muscles working, get everything awake. And even when you do it later in the day, if it's not right when you work up, wake up, you always want to warm up. So it's just good to have your muscles ready and prime to work out. And another benefit of being warm is your body's not getting warm during your workout. So you're getting the full workout at full intensity. So you're getting every little benefit out of your entire workout because your body's already warmed up and ready to go. So number one, always warm up. Um, number two, we always wanna make sure that um, you give yourself time to recover. So a lot of times we're so focused on our goals and rushing towards them and doing everything we can to get them, which is good, but we have to make sure that we do the things that allow our body to recover. So you need to rest, you need to sleep, you need to fuel your body. So that's good food, it needs good fuel. <laughs> um, foam roll, stretch, all of those things that are kind of encompassed in recovery. Um, so as far as stretching and foam rolling, after you work out, stretching and foam rolling, you don't have to foam roll if you don't have one, that's fine, but definitely stretching um, is just as important as warming up afterwards. So it kind of gives your body a chance to cool down, stretch out your muscles, just relax, everything. <laughs> it's just really important, you wanna do it. And so if you do have a foam roller, that's always an awesome way, it's kind of like a self-massage on your muscles, so it really helps the um, draw the blood blood flow there, get them to recover, break up any um, tissue, just anything that, it's just a really good, foam rolling is good. So if you don't have one and you want to get one, that's always a good option too. Um, you don't have to go and buy a super, super expensive one. I know that you can buy them for like 50 bucks somewhere, but um, they have them on Amazon and I would definitely read the reviews there first before ordering one. <laughs> um, but if you buy it through Amazon, they'll usually take it back if you're not happy. Um, and also, if you live by Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I've started noticing them for like $19, $20. So that's a little bit better um, if you live near one of those. So anyways, off that tangent, if you need a foam roller. <laughs> um, so just make sure you give your body the proper um, tools it needs to recover. So stretching, foam rolling if you have one, making sure that you eat enough calories. So. I know a lot of people are focused on limiting their calories and focusing on just what they need so they can lose weight and everything, but you need to make sure that you don't undereat, especially when you're working out hard. So you want to make sure that you're giving your body enough food, good food always. You don't want to um, have empty calories like candies and tons of sugar and things like that. Um, processed food, not what you want to fuel yourself. Um, and nutrition is really important, just to touch on it, because the better food you put into your body, the better your body can utilize it, and the better you can perform in your everyday workouts, or just everything you do in your day. Your brain function, your body function, the better nutrition you have, and the healthier foods you're eating, the better you will function overall. So, um, let's see, is that all of my recovery things? Your nutrition, your rest, sleep is very important. So you don't wanna be doing super intense workouts, and then staying awake for 20 out of 24 hours in a day. <laughs> you need your sleep, it's very important. I know sometimes it's tough when we feel like we're so busy, but when you get your sleep and you're rested, you'll get more done. <laughs> so you may be sacrificing those extra two hours in sleep 
but you're probably getting them back in productivity when you're not zoning out and nodding off and things like that that happen when you're really, really tired. Um, and also sleep is when your body recovers. So you need that time, you need that rest for your muscles to recover, your body to recover, because if they don't, then that's when you start to have injuries. When you work out really hard, your muscles don't have the sleep, the nutrients, the all of that to recover, and then you work out again. So doing that over and over and over is gonna give you some injuries, some problems, just some aches and pains that you just, it's better not to have them, so just prevent them. Um, and then the last part of the all-encompassing recovery <laughs> and nutrition is water. You really want to make sure you have enough water. It's just overall super important for everything, your body functions and um, recovery as well. So all in that, you have your water, your good nutrition, your sleep, and your stretching and foam rolling. All very important things to prevent injuries from happening. Um, and let's see. Okay, and here is another thing that's really important. So, a lot of the plyometric moves, you want to do them fast. You want to do them quickly, explosively, and you want to get all that you can out of them because they're plyometric moves. They're not meant to be done extremely slowly and um, things like that. But, that being said, it's very, very, very important to watch your form. So, you only want to go as fast as you can go with good form. Once your form starts to fall apart, that's definitely a chance of getting an injury. So you really want to make sure that you don't go so fast that you're like kind of just not watching your alignment with your knees and your joints and just everything like that. You don't want to be landing hard on your heels. Um, landing is really important. So you want to try always to have a soft landing. So um, and I don't know how much you can see back here, but I'm going to show you a little bit. Just as far as landing goes, you may not be able to see my feet, so this could be pointless. But when you're doing something like a jump squat and you're going down, you want to jump up and you see you can't really hear me land. Like I don't hit the ground hard. So you really want to focus on landing on the balls of your feet nice and soft and then roll back into your heels to squat. So you want to land. <laughs> and hopefully you can see that. If not, I will make some kind of example video if it's requested underneath. Um, but it's just really important to watch your form always watch your form because having bad form is a really easy way to get yourself hurt. Um, and then landing with the plyometric moves is really important because you are, you're jumping, you're doing explosive movements, and if you land really hard and land on your heels, then you're going to start to jar your joints and it's just going to cause problems for you. So you really want to make sure to focus on your landing, trying to land soft, not thudding down or clunking down really hard, and then land on that balls of your foot or those balls of your feet, <laughs> and then roll back into that squat for something like that. So anyways, just to recap, <laughs> I know that was quick, but here's the things that you really want to keep in mind that are going to prevent injuries, keep you healthy, keep you being able to work towards your goals. So you always want to make sure to warm up, whether it's three to five minutes or a mile jog, whatever you want to do, just make sure you're warmed up before you start your workout. And it's also going to help you get your maximum benefits, so that's good. Um, your recovery things, so your water, you're fueling your body enough calories and good calories so that your body can recover, and rest so that your body can recover during that time. So you don't want to just wear and tear yourself down to the point where you just can't do anything anymore. You have so many pains and aches and then it's too far. You're too far gone. You have to rest and take a break from your workouts. Um, so stretching and foam rolling as well. Those are really important just to keep your muscles nice and stretch out, feeling good. You don't want to be tight when you're doing your workouts then it just makes them harder to get through and more painful. Um, and then last but definitely not least, getting your good form, making sure you have good form, and making sure that you land softly in your plyometrics. So, um, balls of your feet, not thudding down on your heels, and then making sure that you're doing the exercise correctly. And it's much better to go a little bit slower at first, have the exercise down right, and then get the speed going later. It will be much better for you, your joints, your body, everything, overall experience. So, um, I'll probably list these 
just underneath the video in case someone doesn't want to watch it. <laughs> but I guess uh, you would have had to watch it to know that, but um, you'll see them under there. Um, anyways, so I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that you got something out of it. Um, if you have any other kind of questions about this kind of thing, injury prevention or anything really, write a comment underneath. I'll answer it or I'll make another video if it's something that needs expanded on a lot. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching me and I will see you next time.